Roses are pink, your feet really stink by Diane de Groot. Violets are blue, roses are red, to children's librarian, enough said by Diane de Groot. There they were, 15 blank Valentine cards waiting to be filled with nice Valentine poems. They were sitting on the kitchen table in a pile as high as Gilbert's nose. Mrs. Bird had told them to write something nice for each classmate because Valentine's Day was about liking each other. Gilbert liked Patty a lot. She had a smiley eyes and a silly laugh that made Gilbert feel silly too. He picked out the biggest card and he wrote inside, roses are red, violets are blue, your eyes are nice, and I like you, Gilbert. Gilbert also liked Frank. Frank let Gilbert use his baseball mitt once when Gilbert forgot to bring his own. On Frank's card, he wrote, Your name is Frank. It isn't Hank. You lent me your mitt, so I, so you, I thank. Gilbert. This was fun, Gilbert thought. He continued with nice, to write nice Valentine poems until there were just two cards left, one for Lewis and one for Margaret. Now, Lewis did not want to write a nice note for Lewis. Gilbert did not want to write a nice poem for Gil Lewis. Lewis had once tweaked Gilbert's nose until it turned red. He didn't want to write a nice poem for Margaret either. Margaret had made fun of Gilbert's glasses. So he didn't write nice poems. On Lewis's card he wrote, Violets are blue, roses are pink, your feet are big, and they really stink. Gilbert thought the poem was funny, but maybe Lewis, maybe he wouldn't tweak Lewis's nose when he read it. Gilbert didn't want Lewis to tweak his nose again, so he didn't sign his name. He signed Margaret. On Margaret's card he wrote, Roses are red, you wet your bed. I think that you have rocks in your head. Gilbert liked the poem, but he didn't think Margaret would. He didn't want Margaret to say mean things to him again, so he signed the card Lewis. On Valentine's Day, Gilbert walked to school with cards and a ton of Valentine cookies that his mother had baked for the party. Mrs. Bird let everyone open their cards. One of Gilbert's cards had X's all over the envelope, so he opened it first. It said, Roses are red, violets are blue, you are my friend, and I like you. It was signed Patty. Gilbert smiled at Patty, and Patty giggled back. Gilbert opened the rest of his cards. They were all very friendly. Even Lewis had written a poem for him. You may be small, you're not very tall, but I like the way you play ball, Lewis. Gilbert was happy that Lewis liked the way he played ball. And Margaret had written, Sometimes you're very sweet. I hope you brought nice cookies to eat. Love, Margaret. Gilbert smiled to himself. Margaret thought he was very sweet. He looked over at Margaret. She wasn't very happy with one of her valentines. She stuck her tongue out at Lewis. Lewis wasn't very happy at one of his valentines either. He stuck his tongue out at Margaret. Margaret pushed Lewis. Lewis called Margaret a bad name. Mrs. Bird said, Quiet, class. Valentines is li liking each other, not about fighting. She made the class do workbooks for the rest of the morning. Everyone was mad at Lewis and Margaret, even Gilbert. When it was reading time, Margaret looked through all of her valentines again and said, have two valentines from Lewis, a good one and a bad one. Lewis said, I didn't write a bad one. Someone else wrote my name. He looked through his own pile of cards and said, I have two valentines from Margaret and not one from Gilbert. And then he shouted, Oh no, Gilbert wrote the bad cards and signed our names. And Mrs. Bird said, Quiet, please. At lunch, no one wanted to sit with Gilbert, not even Patty. He had to sit all by himself, and when he peeked over his carrot and banana sandwich, he could see Patty and Lewis giggling at their table. Gilbert wondered if Lewis thought Patty had smiley eyes and silly laugh too. He saw Margaret eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich like she did every day. Gilbert liked peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and wished he was eating one too. At recess, no one played with Gilbert, and Gilbert was very sorry he had written two mean and nasty valentines. When they all lined up to go inside, Patty finally asked, Why did you write two bad things to your friends, Gilbert? Because Lewis 
has tweaked my nose, Gilbert said. Margaret made fun of my glasses. Lewis said, I'm sorry I tweaked your nose, Gilbert. You can tweak mine if you want. Gilbert gave Lewis's nose a little tweak, but it did not turn red. And Margaret said, I am sorry I made fun of your glasses, Gilbert. I'll wear them for the rest of the day. She put on Gilbert's glasses. But she couldn't see a thing, and Gilbert couldn't see anything, so she gave them back. In art class, Gilbert made two new valentines out of red paper and lace. During spelling, Gilbert wrote a new poem for Lewis. Violets are blue, roses are pink. I'm sorry I said that your feet really stink. And then Gilbert thought of something nice about Margaret. He liked the way that she always smelled like peanut butter and jelly, so he wrote a new poem for her. Roses are red, jelly is sweet, your, stomach, your smell is good as the sandwich you eat. Then in math, Gilbert figured out that he had 364 days before he had to write any more Valentines. Finally, it was time for the party. Gilbert gave the new cards to Lewis and Margaret, and he passed out the cookies that his mother had baked. And each cookie said, Happy Valentine's Day. Roses are red, are pink, your feet really stink, by Diane de Groot.